true story Hola, today. Como estás? Oh, sorry. Uh, and today we're going to be reacting to a story called After an Electric Shock, I Began to Read Other People's Minds. That's mm, really crazy and it sounds super, super fake. By the way, credit to Meet My Story for this fake story. Uh, please don't sue. Anyway, <laughs> by the please way, sorry for not uploading one of these videos in a while. Uh, we took a break because we posted like 20 videos in yeah. two weeks. Not long. I'm kind of, I don't know. Yeah, so let's just get into this. Hi, my name is Rika, and I'm a mind reader. Do you want to check it out? Hey, you, yeah, the guy ask. in a blue t-shirt, digging guys. in his french fries in front of your screen? Yes, you? The only thing you not, want now is to polish it off with a Coke, I'm right? I'm not that person. And now you, the There's blondie lying with the cat on the bed. I'm not you had a fight with your parents today, and you blonde. really feel bad about it. Am I right? Well, we could practice telepathy for a long time, but I think we'd I better do it later. Meanwhile, I'll tell you my story. Many of you probably now think it's so cool, and I'm very lucky because I can read other people's minds. No, I, think it's very I have fake, many actually. opportunities and yeah, stuff like that. But care. if you knew what price I had to pay for this gift, you would probably say... She probably gets to know a lot of people's weird thoughts, like... What if I could eat a watermelon in one second? Or... Okay. Or dirty stuff. Um, okay. All right, let's continue. Hey, sorry, Rika. Keep on reading minds, and we'll do without it. The thing is that I became a mind reader after I received a powerful electric shock. I'm yeah, not talking about fingers really. peeling off after you put mm. them into a socket. That day, a high-voltage line pole fell next to me. One of the wires broke oh. off and fell right on me. Mm, I have no she idea how I survived that struck. day. I'm pretty sure mm. it was a like miracle, a but I had a lot of health problems after that. My heart rhythm was broken by an electric shock, and now my exactly heart beats works, the way okay. it wants, and it can simply yeah, we'll, decide we'll to stop also. at any moment. Moreover, my vision became worse. My skin became hot. I don't think any of these happen after you get an electric shock. I could be wrong. I'm not a doctor. Uh, I, got, I got electric shock by my stupid lamp. Did it, Not poggers. Did it do any of this stuff to you? <laughs> um, yeah, I can now read minds and I can levitate whenever I stub my toe. Yeah. Wow, that's really impressive, man. Like, I know, so cool. I kind of want to get electric shocked. This story is so... I, I don't even know. It sounds like something that would happen in anime. Hypersensitive, mm -hmm. and I started having oh. frequent headaches. One. On the whole, after headaches. the accident, my life was divided like into before and after. However, afterwards, headaches. when they saved me, set me on my legs, and even discharged me from the hospital, I, I suddenly realized that I could read other people's minds. How do you just it was so strange that? and unusual. The first no, time I realized I had these new about, capabilities, uh, when my mother and I came back home wife. from the hospital, and there was my dad, who was very tense. <laughs> the moment I thought tense. about what had happened, I heard my father's voice. Your father's very tense. Hi, tense. I'm Claude Man 64. Hi, te tense. I'm dark prism. Okay, that was a horrible joke, but honestly, the father just looked dissatisfied and just, like, You're mad. dissatisfied. He looks, he looked mad at her. It's not her fault she got electrocuted, but maybe she's mad that she could find out that he was cheating on the yes. mom. Conspiracy <laughs> theory. Please, in my head, say, what happened? Your mother took the tablet from me and forbade me to play even today when I have an important tournament, by the way. What? I looked at my mother thoughtfully and heard her voice in my head at once. Did I take it? Of course I did. Our daughter was discharged from the hospital, and he says he needs to beat that douchebag at a game. Douchebag. Here we go. And Dad I... said that the tournament wouldn't have taken more than an hour, and like, that he had a, a day off tournament? officially, and Mom mm. accused him of indifference in our family life and heartlessness. Oh, At some point, my head nearly board? exploded because of mm. their yells, and I shouted out loud, Enough! Oh, God. My parents were shocked and asked me if everything was okay. At that mm. moment, I realized that, that in fact, okay. there was no dialogue between them. Those were their thoughts. Why can't he buy his game? Why can't he just buy another or rent another game console? 
for like that one hour mm. if it's so important to him. I don't know. Like, there's game rental things out there, so like, j just rent. It's not yeah, that hard, sir. <laughs> Do you know oh, what I did first off. after I realized that? Must be I rushed outside at once to make sure that I was right. After all, if I wasn't mistaken, my life would completely change after that. And when I got out onto the crowded street, I couldn't hear strange voices at all. Did I really think that I could hear my parents, but nothing? The people were brainless, that's why they're not thinking about stuff. <laughs> that's a dystopian universe. Actually happened? Then I noticed a girl who was very sad and had a basket of detergents in her hands. A cleaning lady, I thought, and heard a voice in my head that said, No, I'm not a cleaning lady. I forgot this basket in the apartment from which I had to move out. Now I have to take it to my new small but cozy home. I couldn't miss my chance and decided to come up to ask her if I was right that she had recently moved and What's forgot the, the basket in a spacious apartment. She might call the police on you, because, like, yeah. how would you know? She doesn't know that you can read minds. Heck, you didn't even know until now. Also, why is her hair white? Is she old? I don't know. Look, the main character's hair. I don't know. The girl was shocked because of what I said and wondered how I knew everything. I tried to explain everything, but she became aggressive and started screaming. She asked me to tell Austin that after everything that had happened, he was no longer her brother, and she didn't want to know him anymore. Austin? Austin, mm. what the heck did you do? I have a friend, uh, not really a friend, I have someone in my class named Austin. Maybe that's who it is. Man, Austin, you must have done something bad, or she just hates you a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, either she's the devil or you're the devil, Austin. Come Maybe on. Though. In the apartment, she left it to him. She found a small, comfortable flat herself. Oops, looks like I intervened in some kind of family drama and I was family embarrassed. Drama. I really mm. didn't think that I could offend this stranger. So I quickly left before the basket of detergents was thrown at me. <laughs> After that incident, I realized that I could read people's torture. minds only if I made a request. I mean, if I thought about them being in close proximity. I became very interested in this phenomenon and began to conduct... You need to go to a psychologist, woman. Like, yeah. I mean, come on. Who actually can read minds? You obviously just have, like, schizophrenia or something. Schizophrenia. That's probably the... Um, twist at the end. More and more dialogues with other Maybe. people's thoughts. It was very informative like and interesting, drama. especially at school. She's insane. I did a test and mentally asked the correct answers from the teacher. Easy ride. And neither the teacher nor my classmates oh. realized what was happening in front of them. Once, my new gift saved my grandmother's and my life, I guess. What? We were in the country yes. and a policeman okay, knocked on our door. Country. Rather, he was dressed as a policeman. Then I thought, hmm, I wonder why the policeman came to our place. Hmm. Has something happened to our neighbors? And then I got the answer. Nothing happened and I'm not a policeman. I'm just a robber. Where are your valuables? That wouldn't... That's not really going to save your life. This isn't an armed burglary. It's just a burglary. Burglary. Yeah. I can't say it. It wouldn't save your life, it would just save the valuables. My heart started beating very fast, and the uninvited guest immediately said that he needed to come in. He wanted us to testify in a case of theft of heirlooms from the neighboring house, and he had to examine our house just in case. My grandmother obediently let him in and said that she would make some tea. Meanwhile, I went to the toilet, immediately called the police, and said that there was a robber in our house. After that, I wrote a phrase on a... What if the police thought you were crazy? Hmm, no clue. The government, the government might take you away, to be fair. That can be used in a lot of interrogations that are important. Or the government will just kill you because you're too powerful to be left alive. Small piece of paper. He is a criminal. The police will be here soon. Hide. And carefully showed it to my grandmother while the dangerous guest sat behind us and asked some routine questions. A minute later, my grandmother said she was feeling unwell and she needed to leave him for a while. I followed her and we locked ourselves in the pantry. 
Soon we heard the police sirens blare and froze in fear. Mm -hmm. It turned out that we weren't afraid for nothing because a moment later the criminal began to try to break down our door with a knife. Oh. He <laughs> shouted that he would kill us and Why is the grandma happy? I why are they happy? I have no clue. Like, I wouldn't be happy about this at all. I would be like, super scared. But they don't care because they're savages, apparently. Uh, let's continue. Wow. Started to force the lock. Meanwhile, I called the police and was on the line with them. It was the most dangerous and scariest day in my life because at any moment, mm -hmm. he could break down the door and kill us. It was a matter of seconds Why or even fractions happy? of a second. Fortunately, the police were faster, the and they saved us. The, police. the criminal oh, was arrested, and it the turned police out they called isn't even the real police. <gasps> that's the ultimate plot twist. Also, ultimate uh, ultimate plot twist. Yeah, that's the plot twist to end all plot twists. Yeah, uh, like, like like the final plot twist. The final in the boss, world. except it's a plot twist. That's. <laughs> That's how plot twisty it is. Let's continue. We're almost done with But that he had already committed two robberies and even a murder. He oh, was a very okay. dangerous special criminal and had been on the wanted list for a long time. Oh, I'm so glad that thanks to my gift, I saved us and helped arrest the villain and stop his atrocities. The villain. By the way, the police tried to understand for a long time how I managed to identify the criminal yeah, because there was nothing special about him. I didn't want to reveal my abilities, so I wiggled out and said something like that he had let it slip and behaved very strange. They barely believed me. But let It's a crime to, like, lie to police, right? Mm hmm So obviously she's also now a criminal, so that wasn't very poggers of you. No. Yeah, my belly just rumbled. Less than a month later, I had to show my abilities again at odd hours. That day, I was in a huge five-story shopping mall. There were a lot of people. Suddenly, I heard a woman crying who was screaming and asking to find her child. I came up to her at once, asked the child's name, and said that I would try to help her. His name was Stephen. I talked to him mentally, but there was no answer. Steven. Plot twist, Steven died. <gasps> oh no! We have a I mean, friend Steven named from our class? Yeah, we Poor have Steven, Steven, but the kid named Steven died. Um, Steven didn't die in real life. <laughs> I mean, you don't know that. Oh, true. I haven't, ta maybe I haven't should, talked maybe to him in forever. Maybe we should call him to check in after this video. Now yeah. let's continue. Yeah. Sir, I kept wandering around the mall and continuously called for him. Suddenly, I heard a weak and quiet voice. Uh, I'm here. Not... Where is here? Stephen, what do you see next to you? I often lost the kid, and then I would hear his weak voice again. I could hardly understand what he was saying, partly because he was a very little boy. No. He was oh. only two years old. Oh. But so then Stephen true. said, There is a bear ball. next to me, a big bear. And then I saw a huge bear costumed character in the opposite what? department um. and rushed there. But the kid was nowhere to be found. I screamed and called out, the but... The kid is the bear. <gasps> Plot twist. The bear's so actually a actual real bear. Time. I mean, yeah. That, that's how it goes. There was no response. And even shop assistants said they hadn't seen anyone. But I kept on calling him. I haven't seen anyone. Is the shopping shopping mart empty? Is this a dystopian universe? What the heck? <gasps> Plot twist: Everyone's invisible. Oh my god! Yeah, she's just a schizophrenic, and none of this is real. She's like in a mental hospital. And she's actually in a coma. Oh yeah, animated story things love co comas. They just love it. Yeah. Tilly mm -hmm. and aloud. And then he finally answered me that he was stuck. Stephen's mom and I began to search literally every centimeter of the store, and soon we found him. Little Stephen was sitting under the hangers. His t-shirt got hooked on one of them, and he was so frightened that he couldn't even call for help. Oh. That's mm. not that scary. I mean, even for a two-year-old. Like, what the heck? You got caught on a hanger? Ooh, so spoopy. Also, this kid's pretty tall compared to his mother at the age of two. Yeah, like, holy crap, bro. 
Have you been like? Have you how many vegetables have you been, drink have you been drinking? Of milk? I said, how many vegetables are you drinking, not eating? Well, I I can't even. <laughs> Let's continue. I don't know how long he would have stayed there if I hadn't been in the shopping mall that day. But the main thing is that everything was okay in the end. After that incident, I began to be proud of myself.、Uh -huh. It feels great to realize that my gift is needed not only for pastime but for other more important things as well. But there is、okay. one but: we shouldn't let too many people know about me. Otherwise, I may get into trouble, both with criminals and with law enforcement agencies. Okay, so she's like, "Oh, no one, not too many people should know about me." Proceeds to tell her story. This is why this is fake. That's that's is why she's stupid. Yeah, either she, I mean, obviously this is fake. I mean, no one has that ability. The, I thought that the lightning story would be more tragic. This is just a story <laughs> of her, like just. Being a hero, I guess, with your stupid fake ability. You're like, hey, become a superhero. Why not? It's sort of a lame superhero, man. Hmm. But a good anime protagonist, if they had some actual character traits、oh, yeah. to her. Yeah, so it's more. You're gonna tell a story. Tell a good one. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. They will get interested in my phenomenon for sure. So if someone asks about a mind reading girl, then you've never seen me and never heard of me. Deal? Would you like to read other people's minds? How would、no. you use such a gift? Uh, how would I use it? Uh, I wouldn't. Give your answers in the comments and be sure to、no. like this video and subscribe no, to our、that. channel. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do any of that. Anyway, guys,、yeah. that's the end of the story. The fake story, the one of the fakest stories I've ever heard. Yeah, that's why I actually, that's why I actually picked it. Zach, Zach slash Dark Prism didn't actually pick this one. He'll pick the next one though. I don't know why、mm -hmm. he wanted me to pick it, but yeah, that was super fake. And also, one thing, this art style kind of reminds me of actually happened. <laughs> Basically,、yeah. this fake、um, animated story. Channel called Actually Happened that used to run, that used to make videos, but I think they deleted all their videos now. I don't know. It just reminds me. Or is that another channel? I don't know. It just does.、Mm, yeah. But then again, all the characters just act and look like robots.、Mm. So yeah,、um, credit to Meet My Story for that excellent story. Ah.、Uh, yeah. Definitely not as good as one of the last stories, but、like. yeah. I mean,、good、the enough, last、yeah. story was actually pretty not good, but like, the story before that was actually yes, pretty, pretty not good. good. Like the one where、uh, maybe we should just link it in the description.、Mm -hmm. It's、um, true stories reaction to. So, anyway, guys,、um, hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it hasn't. Sorry it's been a while. We'll probably upload another one of these in a few days, maybe.